today we are taking a look at an awesome Class C Mercedes motorhome. Some people would call it a B plus. It's a rear lounge living, and there's a sale price. I'm going to tell it to you now, of only ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. This is the 2024 East to West Entrada, the model 24 RLM. We're going to be taking a look at all the outside features on the inside. Then we're going to give you three things we love about the East to West and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. When you say Mercedes and you show me a five figure number, that gets me uber excited. Before I get excited and get into it, let's say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. How's it going? It's going good. I don't think I've gotten to see these yet. You know, I think I saw it at the um, open house. Open house, but that's it. That's it. So I'm excited. I'm excited too. And wait till you guys see how this feels for everybody in the world who wants a B motorhome, a class B van. You are forbidden to buy a B van until you at least watch this video. Model is 24 RLM Mercedes Entrada M class. The actual tip tip length is 25 feet 7 inches. 35 gallons of fresh water. 32 gallons of gray water, 32 gallons of black water. This does have the 3.0 liter V6 turbo diesel. I'm going to say this on the 3500 Sprinter. This year, you do have to be careful because there is some 24s with the new four cylinders. Nothing's wrong with the four cylinder. Nothing's wrong with the six cylinder. Just know which one you're buying. Always check before you sign the dotted line. Regardless on which one you're getting, Andrea, you're buying... <laughs> I don't even know if you're saying it right. Nice bunk over the cab right here. It's a fiberglass front brawl. Okay, so it actually caps over that way. It's not a full fiberglass front cap, but it is better than just a trim piece. Right here. Look at these tires, Andrea. They're the Continentals. I love those. 215-85 R16 with some really shiny looking ramps. It's a clean looking motorhome, Andrea. They got a lot of awesome looking features. One, frameless windows. Okay. You guys know we love Entrada. Andre and I demoed on Entrada for six months and it was fantastic. Entrada's behind the fiberglass use Asdell. Asdell won't delaminate on you. You got a very nice power awning. Goes the whole length of the motorhome. And then look at these doors. So much better. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Then the twisty doors. I love that. Right here we do have coax and power if you want to have a TV on the outside. Look at that. Bam! Closed. Hate. When we had our Entrada, we had those twisties. That was the number one thing I hated the absolute most. Coming around the back. We do have a nice bumper for the Stinky Slinky. 5,000 pound hitch. We never recommend towing 5,000 pounds. You're going to at least 43, 4,400 pounds. But always know before you tow. Backup camera there and East to West Entrada, it does mean it has a one piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, there's a ladder. So let's go up there and take a look. All right, hold on. Here we go now. All right, please forgive me, everybody. It appears to be a TPO roof, so maybe it's TPO for the M class. My apologies. That's why we climb up here. We do have one AC unit, nice solar panel right here. And right up here is your Wine Guard Digital 360 antenna. Last step. Great, and if you haven't already, oh, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. One of our resalesmen's taking his fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Come on, Andrea. 30 amp service right here. Look at these doors. I love those doors. Open, closed. Love that. Flex power generator, opened. 4,000. Closed, I love that. Nice, light hookup. The Fugatti water heaters, they should have made it white. It doesn't go, it's not horrible with the black. Black tank flush, city water connection, potable water fill, potable, potable. Place to dump in your tanks. No slide outs on this beast. And then right here, you got your propane tanks. And Miss Jen, if you could, bing. Please put all the specs right there. For everybody who's watching on television. And that must be where you fill up your fuel. Yes, ma'am, right there. 
Oh, cargo carrying capacity is right there inside the door, Matt. What? Show me. On the yellow sticker. 1,803 pounds. What? That's right. Wait, what? 1,803 pounds? No. 1,800, get real close to my face. 803 pounds, and yes, that's on a Mercedes. Okay, I've never heard of that before. There's no slide outs. <laughs> oh yeah. Andrea, go check out the inside. All right. All right, so no slide outs. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna do a 360. And then as you guys can see, this is how it is at all times. Good walkway. You can definitely open the fridge. Here is the bathroom and the rear living back here. Pretty cool. And yeah, we don't have any slide outs to open. Which means we don't have any sponsors to shout out. So let's just get on into the video. Well, don't we? You want a break? Cause you ain't having one, neither <laughs> am I. You ready, Andrea? I'm ready. Mercedes, check out this cockpit area. Love it. Everything that you want. Lane assist, adaptive cruise control. You got your camera right there. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. No, don't play that music. Air conditioning, you got all your cup holders here. It's Mercedes, what more do you want? Andrea, how do you, look, we got heated seats, memory seats, power adjustable seats. What do you got going on right there? How do you feel? Uh, it's comfortable. Yeah, it's comfortable. I was just curious if these swivel. Uh, yes, they okay, do. Okay, good, because that, that makes a big difference. But yeah, I mean, it's traditional, it's comfortable. I love the memory seats. We do have a bunk over the cab right here. Yes. And let's see, I don't know, it doesn't have the weight. Okay. Guys, I don't know what the weight is, but and we're not going to guess. Yes. It is a nice bunk over the cab, kind of smallish, you know what I'm saying? I actually kind of wish that they took that out and made it more streamlined. They they might have been able to achieve 2,000 cargo carrying capacity. But um, but they didn't. They kept it in. And you know what? A lot of people do like it for storage, okay? Uh, there is the table right here that goes right here. Yes. For the middle area, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is a very unique style, so check this out. You got this seat here little love seat oh huh i guess the table drops down interesting you do have the lippert leveling right here your power controls there very very different just a different motorhome andrea it is check out these valances how do you like those valances i like them so you would say approved Oh, Andrea likes those balances. I think they're the same ones we used to have. Yes, they are. And you know what? It's a nice neutral look. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Right over here, we got our Furion sound system. Oh, that's interesting. Good storage there. No TV in here, huh? Interesting. Got a little drawer underneath. Andrea, I'm trying to figure out if that makes it bed or not. I do apologize to everybody. I do not know if that makes a bed. Yeah, I don't know. The pedestal I'm not table, seeing, yeah. it don't look that big, so. I don't even know why I would jackknife that. Right. It's kind of different. I'm trying to show everybody this awesome kitchen. All right. You did a lot of the work for me. <laughs> I know. Well, it's a small motorhome. Thank you. We've got the Greystone uh, convection microwave. Very nice. Now, I've never seen this before. Talk to me. This Greystone. Greystone two burner propane cooktop. I like it. Yeah, it's it's different, but man, it does make it weird with the counter space. And then we've got the soft closed drawers. Oh yeah. Under here as well, there's storage. Very nice. Got another cabinet up here. Very nice. Okay, round sink with the extension. Okay. And okay, here's a counter extension. Nice. Okay. Much would have been better over there. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, more. Oh gosh, the refrigerator. Now that's so important. Uh, no, it just does not open from both sides. Yes, it does. Does it? Yep, you just need to lock that side in. It's a new safety mechanism. Oh, bada bing. Okay. Bada bing, Is bada boom. Ever chill compressor refrigerator. Yes, ma'am. Wait, wait. Is there a pantry in here? 
A portrait oh in a pantry. Oh my goodness. Dang. What is this? Look at that. Now that is crazy. Sure is. I did not expect that. Oh yeah. That's our back wardrobe area. Andre, you might as well just continue. All right, so right here you got the uh, hanging space and we've got three drawers right here. Yes. I love the soft clothes. Yes. Ooh, that one didn't soft clothes so good. And then this one. Good size. Yes, ma'am. And before, take take a seat. Take a seat. Okay. Look at this awesome rear lounge area. I have a little bit of light back here. Yes. We're going to show that in just a moment. But first, let's go into this bathroom. Okay. Because that lounge area is kick butt awesome in America. Pocket door going into the bathroom here. Wait, hey, not a bad step up at all. I like that. 24 Models. by 36 shower. What shower. more do you want? Nice headlight, you know. Cabinets there. We got a sink right here. Tons of space there. Okay. Right? What's in this cabinet here? Oh, it's liquefied! Our brand of RV toilet tank treatment. We also have the new powder, sensor cleaner, and toilet bowl cleaner, Andrea. They were today's sponsor, or we were today's sponsor. That's our company, guys. If you guys want the absolute best toilet treatment, that's enzyme and bacteria based, and you want to support us, a 100% made in America company, please pick up some liquefied. It's the camping season. Thank you guys so much. Oh, you okay? Uh oh. Tell you what, East to West doesn't support us no more. Unfortunately, this is not a prime pooping position. Womp womp. He didn't mean that, Tony. I meant it, Tony. <laughs> I thought you loved me, Tony. <laughs> Well, our, um, Andrea, this is not a prime poop position. Here's what I will say. I do think it's it's more me than it, but the sink's just too big in here. You know what I'm saying? I do. And Andrea, let's wrap up back here. Okay, so uh, going into the rear back here, you have an accordion door for privacy. Dude, I love this motorhome. This is a Matt Foxcroft motorhome. This is like a perfect little work office yep, exactly, for you. Exactly, exactly. Okay, and look, wait. Shelves back here. Hold on. I like this. I like this because some of them would use like that for putting stuff over like the tables and stuff. Yep. This and comes out to make a bed. Pedestal table goes there. Everybody. Okay. Oh, wow. That was easy. Oh my goodness. It's a little person. It's for little people. Well, somebody taller could sit, sleep over here on no, this side. not really. Well, because there's no arms right there. Sorry, y'all. This is for half men and women. <laughs> <laughs> if you are five foot five and smaller. Uh, hey. No, they're going to gain a little bit from right here. Oh, you're so good at basketball, huh? <laughs> you were the first one picked on pick up basketball. Oh, yeah? Well, you can't fit in an Achada, and I can. <laughs> Wait, nice. oh, there's a TV back here. I did not see that. And that's actually a good size TV for in here. Yeah. Yeah, nice TV. And it tells. Andrea, I would totally set up a desk in here. This is. You wouldn't have to. There'd be a table right here. Well, a, a, oh, yeah, that's what I mean. This 100% for me, the perfect unit to drive to the dealership's film. Like, if things slowed down in the RV industry and and it didn't make sense to pay us just to do videos anymore, if I had to go back to sales, I'd buy one of these. Do you know why? Because at shows, too many people, if I'm trying to work a deal, they'll like interrupt the deal. So I'd be like, yo, let's go in my motorhome, right up the deal. Burr, 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 burr. And I love it. And Andrea, do you know what I would write this deal up for? No. Do you know why? Because it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Guys, I almost thought I forgot. Okay, you ready for this, Andrea? MSRP on this motorhome is $152,093 MSRP. We're General RV, which means we have a 2024 discounted 34% off to a sale price of $99,995. Andrea, I said that in the beginning. Andrea. I probably put it in the title, Andrea. Mercedes. <laughs> but guess what? Even though all those strings, things matter, I still might be able to get you a little bit of a better price than that. 
All you guys have to do is go to generalrv.com slash Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to me any way you can. Our team is here to help everybody get the absolute best price in America. And with that all said, Andrea, and if you guys do buy an RV, send me an email, matt at mattsrvreviews.com, or go on our website, fill out the form that you bought an RV from us, and we will you'll join the club, and we'll mail you a pride poop position bobblehead. And Andrea, with that all said, that's it, and that's the review. Now, before people leave, it's time we give them three things we like about this motorhome and three things we don't like. What should we do first? Um... Let's just do the dislikes first. Yeah, that's good. You go first. Okay. Okay. So, I will say, this, I don't like here. I don't know. I feel like it's so small, and to get through and get to the fridge, and if you're cutting stuff, it's got to be a pain. Okay, so wait. We had the drop-in one over here that okay. kind of flips down. So, that's my dislike. That is dislike number one. Andrea, dislike number two for me, I don't like, hold this, please. I don't like any of this. I don't. I hate this part of the motorhome altogether. I don't know what they're doing here. I don't know what the heck this does. Somebody please make a hate comment and explain to me what it is. Well, no, because people are like, man, it's you like don't know. It's like a little love seat. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't like it, and I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so for me, this whole seating area, I just don't get it, and I don't like it. You know what I'd much rather have seen? All kitchen, maybe like a little. Dinette. Uh, not not a dinette. not a traditional one, but the, the European a, a table, the European style one. Yep. Yeah. A bigger bathroom and because that rear lounge area is fa absolutely fantastic. Um, that's dislike number two, and then Andrea, I really didn't have a dislike number three, so hopefully you have one. Hmm. Wow. I mean, I, I I can give you dislike number three. Again, to my point, to my point, um, the bathroom is kind of small and tight. No, you oh. can just show it. The bathroom's yeah. just kind of small and tight. Again, when you compare it to a B-Van bathroom... I think bathroom, they did a good job on this layout. Yeah, when you when you compare it to a B-Van bathroom, it's excellent. But there's so much... Like, you didn't... The cause of this... Oh, I do have a dislike, too. G g give us another one. You know what I'm saying? I, I did forget. Um, the Greystone two-burner propane cooktop. Okay. So, just the placement that it's in, I don't like that. It kind of, like, breaks up the counter space. It's kind of funky, yeah. Yeah. And you know what, Andre? Not too many dislikes. It just kind of is what it is, and it is what it does. That's three things or four things we don't like about this motorhome. Now it's time for things that we love about it. May I go first? Sure. $99,995 for a Mercedes. Amazing. One. You ready for number two? Nope. It's me. It's not you. Oh, don't make that face. Tell, tell everybody number two. I want to say before I forget it, the cargo can capacity. That was my number two. Okay, burr, 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 burr. <laughs> What is it again? Uh, 1,803 pounds. Of what? Cargo care capacity. No, no, no. Give me a slow motion. Oh, one. Car no. Of what? Cargo care capacity. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. That's incredible for a Mercedes. Yes. yes. Definitely. Okay. And then I have a number three. Dude, are you stealing the show from me? Yeah. Just I, go. Because sometimes I don't always do them. I, I love the pantry on here. Oh. East to West. I've never seen them do this. We certainly didn't have one like this. Oh, crazy. Oh, okay. Well, then, you know what? We're doing four likes. Why not? Uh, well, because the show's three That's and three. That's what I mean. Why not? Let's just do a four. Well, the show's three and three. But we did so, four dislikes. So you... <laughs> what the heck's going on here? This is the mat cave back here. This is perfect. I can sit here. I can work. My Unigirl can sit there. I got a TV. I can answer Good emails. Good size TV. You got the AC blasted in here. Um, this rear lounge area, no slide outs. This could be somebody's daily driver. You will look a little silly with it, but you know what? I love it. Not only that, Andrea. Like, imagine like being at the Hershey Show. Oh, this and would be having incredible. this park yeah. behind our tent. Oh my gosh! A bathroom. That, so, like, at the Hershey show, I got to put a face mask on just to go to the bathroom because I, I get stopped a million times and I don't want to be rude. And, and also, like, if we're trying to, like, eat lunch or something, it's impossible. we're, like, two minutes trying to just swallow it. Dang, dude. I love this motorhome. Guys, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in buying an East to West Mercedes M-Class, all you guys got to do is go to generalrv.com slash Cash. 
We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from Matt's RVRVs.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us and a member of my team will reach back out to you guys and they will get you one thing and that is always the absolute best price in America. Andrea? What say you? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes! East and West, they do read all the comments, they do watch the videos, you guys, so leave your feedback. Uh, we hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. And make sure you guys pick up some liquefied. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody so much for watching, and Andrea, we'll see you next time!